Hello friends, welcome back to my YouTube channel and welcome to another Tumblr tutorial. In this video, we're going to do peekaboo tumblers, my favorite, and I'm going to show you two different like design or theme ideas that you can use with this technique. You can apply this to literally any theme or idea that you have. So in this video, I'm going to show you two different kind of ways you can go with this design. I had so much fun making these tumblers and I really hope you all enjoy this video. As always, I'll have a full supply list with discount codes down below in the description box for you, so be sure to check that out. And that's it. I hope you all like the video. Let's go! So starting out with our first tumbler here, I'm going to base paint this with my Lisa Pink acrylic paint. As always, I'm using entirely too much paint. All the members of my elite group make so much fun of me because I always use like way more paint than necessary. Uh, so you just want to get a really good coat on there. I am using the acrylic paint as my adhesive for my glitter. So once I've got the paint on, I'm immediately going to go in with my glitter. The glitter I'm using here is a custom mix that I made a really long time ago. I have no idea what is in it, unfortunately, um, but you can use any light pink that you have. Of course, if you want to do the same color story that I'm going to do for this design, um, you could use any pink glitter that you want. So once that glitter is on the tumbler and dry, I let the tumbler sit and dry for about an hour and a half to make sure that really thick layer of acrylic paint was totally dry. I sealed the glitter with a coat of Crystallac glitter glue mixed with water. I just do a 50-50 mix and I'm gonna set that aside and let that dry for two hours. This first tumbler that we're using is a 30 ounce skinny screw top tumbler from Craft Haven. So it's got this stainless steel screw on lid and we're gonna paint and glitter this as well. So I'm going to attach this to my turner rod. So I just stick my little foam insert into the lid, tape off the threads of the lid with some electrical tape, and then I add some more painter's tape just to really secure it onto that rod. This just makes it really easy to work with. Then I'm gonna put a spare straw that I have into the center of the lid and then paint the lid pink. I just used a regular pink spray paint that kind of matched what I had on the tumbler a little bit, I guess. And now we're gonna move into our second tumbler. So this is just a regular 30 ounce skinny straight tumbler and I'm gonna base paint this a really soft like cream color. And to do this, I'm using pop of color paints. Of course, for peekaboo tumblers or any tumbler you're doing, you can use acrylic paint, you can use chalk paint, spray paint, Whatever you have and whatever you like to use to base paint your tumblers is totally fine. You don't have to use any one specific type of paint for any specific design, if that makes sense. So I'm just gonna mix this color of paint, apply a really nice even layer to the tumbler, let that dry for about 30 minutes, and then I'm gonna go in with a second coat of that same paint just to make sure we have really, really good solid coverage here. Once that's dry, let that sit for about another like 45 minutes. Once it was dry, I'm gonna use the Crystallac glitter glue just by itself, not mixed with water, to apply the glitter. For this glitter, I'm just gonna use Nookie from Peachy Olive Glitters. This is one of my all-time favorite white glitters. It's just a really pretty, super sparkly, fine cut white. And I'm gonna go over the entire tumbler with that glitter. And you can see it's gonna pick up that really soft, creamy base that we have to give us a nice, like, creamy ivory color. Now to glitter our lid, we're going to use the epoxy method, and I'm gonna use some pink glitters that I'm gonna use actually on the outside of the peekaboo for our pink tumbler. You can use any glitter you want, really. It doesn't have to match your peekaboo. It can just coordinate, it can be totally different. Do whatever you want. Um, but what I'm gonna do here is a really thin coat of epoxy, and then I'm gonna go in with some of the colors that we're gonna use on the pink portion of our peekaboo a little bit later. Once the glitter's on the lid, I'm going to remove all of the tape and the straw, let that epoxy layer dry, and then I'm just gonna epoxy over it the same way you would a tumbler. We just wanna make sure, of course, that the glitter is smooth, just like you would on a cup. 
So once all of my glitter was on, I added two coats of epoxy to each of the tumblers to make sure that they were totally smooth and ready for our peekaboo stencils. Before I apply my stencils, I am going to clean up the top rims of the tumblers and then do any necessary sanding that I feel I need to do. There wasn't much because we're going to do glitter over our peekaboos. They don't need to be like 100% perfectly smooth. You do want to make sure though that the top rims of your tumblers are sanded down really, really super well because when we go to sand and after doing the peekaboo glitter layer, we don't want to sand down so far that we like see the glitter underneath, if that makes sense. We want it to just be plain stainless steel. So I would do a lot of sanding at the top rim of your tumbler so that we don't have to worry about that later. Now for the two themes on our tumblers, we're going to go with a dog theme, of course, and then we're going to do some really cute little teddy bears. You can, of course, like I said, do any theme you want. You can do any sort of peekaboo you want. This design technique really lends itself to like literally anything you want to do. So I'm using my stencil vinyl here and I've got for this pink tumbler, we've got paw prints because this is going to be the dog one. So I cut out two different sizes or three different sizes of paw prints, but I think I only used two different sizes. I used a big one and then like a medium ish one. My initial plan was to use all three sizes, but then I think as I got going, I decided I didn't want to use the super small ones. But what we're doing here is filling up as much space as possible on the tumbler while leaving a big area in the middle of the cup to add our main decal design later. So the same thing here with this teddy bear theme, I cut out two little teddy bear stencils and I'll put where I got this file in the description box for you if you want to use the same one. But I'm just placing all of these little stencils around the cup, again, leaving some space in the middle of the tumbler for our main design. Once I had my stencils placed, I painted my tumblers and now I'm going to add my Southern Belle glitter foil adhesive over the peekaboo so that we can glitter them. For this dog one, I did a regular pink spray paint, the same one I used on the lid. And then for that middle area where the main decal image is going to go, I just used a white spray paint. And then for the teddy bear one, I used a really pretty like light aqua paint. And then again, I put a white strip of paint where the main image will be. So for that, we're going to use white glitter because we're going to use a clear decal or a water slide for the main image so I want it to go on white of course if you're going to do a different type of decal like just a regular cut out one a vinyl or whatever you can do whatever glitter color you want um, but what we're going to do here is a vertical kind of ombre thing so my white glitter I'm using the same one for both cups I'm using Parabatai from Peachy Olive Glitters and I'm going to go pretty heavy with my coverage on this white section because again I want it to be mostly white so that our image will pop off that white background. If we put it on darker glitter colors, it won't look as good. So I really want to make that super white and just really clean and crisp. And then we can take all of our complementary colors and we can blend those into the white while still maintaining that like big white spot for the decal to go, if that makes sense. So again, with Parabatai, I'm going to cover most of my white space with pretty heavy coverage. And then we're going to move into our complementary colors. So starting with our pink tumbler, we're going to start with Fancy. This is an Olive's Glitter Outlet color. Now this is a pretty thick or chunky glitter and it's got some little butterfly shapes in it. I didn't really realize that until it was on the cup, so I didn't use a ton of that. I just put a really light little sprinkling of that down and then I moved into As If, which is going to be our main chunky color. And I'm sorry that this is out of frame and really just focusing on the bottle of glitter, but all I'm doing is sprinkling a really kind of like medium to light coat of this glitter. What we're going to do is kind of like the tacket method. We are going to burnish this glitter down so it doesn't need to be perfectly placed like you would like with a traditional ombre because we're going to like rub all on the glitter anyway. So don't worry about making it super perfect. So after as if I took cool mom, sprinkled that all over and now I'm going in with my super fine cut pink. This is Tanner. This is an all his glitter outlet color as well. So I'm going to go pretty heavy in my coverage here. And with this fine cut is when I'm going to start to blend that in with my white. So you can see I'm putting the pink glitter over that parabatai just the slightest amount. Again, you don't need to be super concerned with like a perfect blend because we're going to burnish the glitter down in just a minute. For the fine cut white, just to make sure we've got some extra good white coverage, I'm going to take Nookie and just 
really cover that entire white section and then a little bit of that blending area where the pink is. I'm gonna set that tumbler aside so we can work on our blue one. Starting with the chunky blue, I'm gonna use Gnarly from Peachy Olive Glitters. And just like I did with Fancy, I'm gonna go really super light here. I just want this color to be a background and give us some really nice dimension. So I went a little heavier as you can see because Gnarly doesn't have little butterflies in it. <laughs> so I was a little more heavy handed, but still in the grand scheme of things, very, very light. Next, I'm gonna take one of my absolute favorite colors of all time, Kaneohe. And again, I'm sorry about this camera focusing situation. I don't, I'm sorry, I don't know. <laughs> but what I'm doing essentially is going in again with like medium coverage here. This is like our main color, so I was a little bit more heavy handed. And now we're gonna go in with our finer cut. So first I'm taking 10, 12, 13, and I'm gonna go again over all of those areas. And now starting to blend into the white just a little bit more. Again, a reminder, you do not need to be perfect with your blending here. So don't put too much pressure on yourself. Just get the colors on the tumbler. Finally, for our blue area, we're going to go in with our super fine cut blue. And this is Coal from Olive's Glitter Outlet. And you can see that I used some teals and some blues. I wanted to go with kind of a like beachy color scheme here. I know that teddy bears are not beachy, but... The person I made this for loves the beach, so I wanted to add a little bit of the beach vibe in there somehow. And then finally, just like we did with the pink tumbler, we're gonna take Nookie and just put that all over the white section and then blend it into the blue section just a little bit. Again, we just wanna reinforce that white, make sure we have really, really good coverage, and then we can move into burnishing all of this glitter down. Of course, if you don't want to, you don't have to do this like tack it methody, you know, burnishing portion. You can just glitter your tumbler and then go right into peeling your decals up if you want to. Totally up to you. I wanted to kind of do this tack it technique because it makes it really easy, one, to find your stencil vinyl under the glitter, and two, your glitter gets really nice and flat and it kind of has a different finish for sure, but it makes it really easy to epoxy over it and get it really smooth. And I knew that these were gonna be like hefty gals. <laughs> they were gonna have a lot of epoxy on them. So I wanted to go with this technique that would really smooth that glitter out and make it easy to epoxy over it. So with a gloved hand, I'm just gonna go in and rub all of that glitter down. A lot of it will fall off, but it will just lay really nice and flat on the tumbler and give us a really cool finish. Immediately after doing that, we can go right into peeling our decals up. You don't need to mark them with anything or hot glue them or you know any of those techniques. If you are just traditionally glittering your tumbler without doing this rub down, you can mark them to help you find them under the glitter. But when you do this kind of tack it thing, it's really easy to find the stencils under the glitter. So I'm gonna take my needle nose tweezers and you can see I'm just gonna find the stencil vinyl, very carefully pull it up and then reveal our peekaboo underneath. This is my favorite part of doing peekaboos. I love them so much. Um, in hindsight for this one, I probably would have used a glitter that was a little bit more contrasting to the top layer, just so they stood out a little bit more, but I still really love how it turned out. Um, I was just, you know, you always wanna do something differently when you're creating art. Like I always like, oh, I should have done that differently, but oh well, it still turned out really cute. So I'm gonna just peel all of these decals up and then we will move on to our next step. Once all of my stencil vinyl was peeled up, I went right to my turners and I'm gonna go right into a coat of epoxy. I did not seal my glitter or anything. I'm going literally straight into epoxy. I'm using my Flint Sisters Fast Cure Epoxy here. For each of these coats on each tumbler, I'm using about 30 milliliters. So this is a pretty thick coat. I did set aside a little bit of epoxy to mix in with some glitter. We have to add more glitter to these tumblers, of course. This is totally optional if you don't wanna do this, you don't have to, but 
I always like to add a little extra sparkle, you know. So I took Rainbow Fish from Olive's Glitter Outlet, mixed that in with that little extra bit of epoxy, and as you can see here, I'm just spreading that all over the tumblers, trying to focus on the areas that are not peekabooed, but it's not the end of the world if you get a little bit of this top layer glitter into your peekaboo sections. It's just going to kind of tie everything together and of course add a little bit of extra something something. I also took a little bit of that rainbow fish glitter and just sprinkled it onto the tumbler with my fingers too, just so we could add a little bit more glitter, but not more epoxy. So once that layer was cured, I added another thin coat of epoxy over the top of that to make sure that everything was totally smooth and ready for our vinyl details. For our vinyl details, we're going to use my favorite vinyl on the planet. We're using the Champagne Gold Textured Metallic Vinyl from Tech Wrap Craft. Now these outlines that I am using here for the paw print, I created an offset and then made the outline from that. And I will link a video that I have on my channel that goes over how to do that in Silhouette Studio in detail. So if you don't know how to do that, you can check that video out in the description box. And for the teddy bear, the outline is actually the SVG that you'll download from Creative Fabrica or Etsy, I can't remember, but it will be linked down below in the description box. To get the stencil portion of the teddy bear, I took that SVG file and then basically just got rid of all of the cut lines. So all we had was the silhouette or the outline. Hopefully that makes sense. If you have any questions, let me know. Um, but yeah, that's what we're doing. So this teddy bear is the main SVG that you'll download when you get this file. To apply these for the teddy bear, because the lines are so small and intricate and we've got a lot of details, I'm going to transfer the entire piece to my tumbler and then I'm going to weed out all of the details with the vinyl already on the tumbler. That's just going to help like reinforce those lines and keep them in place so we don't risk like losing an eye or any of those <laughs> tiny little details. For me, it's always easier to weed these really thin, intricate things when it's already stuck down to the tumbler because it's just a little bit more sturdy that way. Hopefully that makes sense. For the paw prints though, I'm just going to weed them first and then apply them to the cup. Because they're not as intricate or delicate, you can just weed them and then put them right on your peekaboos. Once I had all of my vinyl outlines on, I did add another thin coat of epoxy to the tumblers to make sure they were totally smooth, shiny, and ready for our main star decals. Starting with our teddy bear tumbler, we're going to use a clear water slide for the main decal on this one. So I'm using my Hayes Paper Company clear water slide, and I printed this image out on my Canon printer. Just made sure that my settings were at glossy photo paper and then best printing quality. Once it was printed, I sealed the water slide with three thin coats of the Rust-Oleum two times clear gloss spray. I let the coats dry about 15 minutes in between each one. And once those are dry, you're ready to apply your water slide. So as you can see here, I'm gonna cut out the water slide and I'm trying to cut as close to the image as possible just cause I don't wanna deal with a bunch of extra like clear area, if that makes sense. Once I had it cut out, I dipped it or dunked it, dipped it in my pool or my bowl of lukewarm water. And once it starts to kind of come off from the backing in the water, you know it's ready to apply to your tumbler. So I just slid the backing out from underneath the image. And now, as you can see, I've got a wet paper towel and I'm just pushing the water out from the back, making sure that we don't have any wrinkles or water bubbles or anything happening underneath the water slide that's gonna make it look messed up. You wanna be really careful during this process because you don't wanna tear your water slide because um, it's really annoying to have to print another one and do all of the sealing and everything a second time. For our dog tumbler, we're not gonna use a clear water slide. We're actually gonna use some clear printable sticker paper. This is the Avery brand. Um, it's available at Walmart, you can get it on Amazon. 
It is literally my favorite thing that I've been using for a really long time. I love this stuff so much. For me, it's better than water slide because you don't have to seal it and the print quality and the vibrance and all of that stuff is just like amazing. So I printed this image out. I got the dog image on Etsy and just printed it out, cut it out with my scissors as you can see. And now I'm literally just gonna apply it to my tumbler like a sticker. And you can see that the colors are really vibrant. Everything looks really nice. These are super easy to work with. You can reposition them. And I just like can't say enough about this clear sticker paper. Highly, highly recommend. So that was really easy. Just stuck that right on my tumbler and added another coat of epoxy to the top. I wanted to show you really quick here how I epoxy over the lid. Essentially, again, it's just like a tumbler. You just wanna make sure that you use really, really thin coats when you're epoxying your lids. If you have to do multiple really thin coats, that is A-OK. -okay. So once that epoxy was all cured on the lid and the tumblers, we are all finished. So here is the final result. I really, really love this technique. I had so much fun making these tumblers. I can't wait to do this technique again with a few little tweaks to improve, I think. Um, let me know if you would like to see another video with like an already updated design. Like I said earlier, you always find things that you wanna do differently. So if you wanna see that, let me know. Of course, let me know what you think of this technique and design down below in the comments. And if you recreate this with a different theme, please be sure to tag me in your posts at Made by Manny and Mal. I love seeing what you guys come up with based on my tutorials. So be sure to tag me so I can give you some love. And of course, if you enjoyed this video, please be sure to give it a thumbs up down below. If you're not already subscribed to my channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button so you don't miss any of my new videos and come back for the next one. I upload brand new Tumblr tutorials every Tuesday and Saturday. Thanks so much for watching again. I love you so much and I'll see you in the next one. Okay, love you, bye. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to give it a big thumbs up down below. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram and Facebook at Made by Manny and Mal. You can join my mentorship group at the website on your screen. I'd love to have you in the Elite Fam. Be sure to subscribe to my channel if you are not already so you don't miss any of my new videos. And while you're here, here's another video for you to check out. I want to say a huge, huge thank you to my channel members and my Elite Fam members. You guys make this channel possible. Okay, thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Love you. Bye.